with our bowling, it's really important that the boys learn about the ball and how the ball behaves if certain forces are applied to that ball. So what we want the boys to understand is how can we make that ball go off the straight? So it either swings, spins or cuts, such as when it gets down the other end, it's not going straight. And the best way to start this process is to give them a ball at training and just ask them to have a feel for the ball. How can I keep that seam upright? How can I get it to spin in a certain motion that will give me an outcome I desire? Then you can take them to throwing the ball or underarming the ball, such as that they achieve those outcomes you desire. For example, you might have the whole group for the first five, okay, we're gonna do outswing. We're gonna do leg spin. We're going to do off spin and have little competitions. Who can get it to spin the most? Who can get it to seam out? A great way to, to do utilize, a great thing to utilize is the incredible. Because we know it swings, we know it spins. So if we utilize the ball, we can give them the feedback that they need to to start to feel that they can do it. Once they feel they can do it, wow, the brain starts saying, maybe I'm good at this and I'll try this in a match. They get a few wickets and confidence increases. So that's that's a real one. Then go on to some bowling of it. So all of a sudden, from say 30 bowls in a session, we can increase that to say 60 and they might find something that they're really good at and we might produce, say, a Max Walker or the like. Maybe a Dennis Lilly. One of the things that I'm seeing a lot is a lot of the young boys, when they bowl it, end up going straight down the wicket or towards the offside. This tells me that they're not utilizing their whole rotation in their body. So just with the use of a marker, just popping a marker on around the off stump for a left hander from a right hand bowler and just making sure that they finish on this side of that marker. Really important that they learn to utilize that whole body because that's important in terms of keeping the, the seam upright or maximizing the wrist juice. So they're good ones for bowling. Throwing. There's nothing better than a tennis ball. One is that it shows how you're catching. Hard hands, bounce out. Throwing, incorrect throwing style, it goes a long way because it swings a lot. So what we're looking for is in pairs, again, have a little competition. We're throwing, how many times can you throw and catch? Now as coaches, what you can look for is if a thrower, a right-handed thrower, is always throwing to the right side of the person they're throwing to, it means that they're not finishing the throw off. If the throw is going up, they're throwing off the back leg. They're not transferring the weight. So a good one is to look, and for a start, you might have them throw to the left-hander side of the catcher to get that full body motion happening. So that's a good one. Catching, we want to see them take it out in front. Out in front, and the sound is minimal. Very important. So, you know, all of a sudden, I don't know, maybe 15 catches you have a night, turns into 50. Wow, Scotch Fielding goes through the roof. Another great one is just with the stump. In pairs, stump in the middle, utilizing a cricket ball, just practicing throwing to hit the stump. We want to hit high up on the stump, the top of the stump, have a little competition, who can hit it? But importantly, watch for how they take the ball when it's thrown past the stump. A lot of boys will give it this one. That tells us instantly we've got some work to do in getting them to watch the ball into their hands 
which is really critical stuff. All of a sudden, you know, maybe 10, 15 throws a night become 30 throws with a bit of fun in them and Scott start hitting the wickets. Run outs are critical and obviously catching is critical.